Hi, my name's Wade Stiller. I'm a naturopath here in Queensland, Australia, and we're going to be doing a series of vignettes on molecular hydrogen, because this is the molecular hydrogen revolution. Hello, Internet. Today we're here with Dr. Alan App Thomas. Welcome, Dr. Alan. Thank you, Wade. And we are going to be talking about gut health. Mm -hmm. Oh, we all like a bit of gut health. Yep, it's a big one. So, of course, uh, we're talking molecular hydrogen. Mm -hmm. How does molecular hydrogen relate to our gut? Okay, all right. Well, if we start with the basics first. Yes. So, science is becoming very excited about the gut. And the more we look at the gut, the more important it seems to be. Yes. And it seems to be that our gut and our brain are controlling everything. And that's because 75% approximately of our immune system is located in our gut. And it's also where about three quarters of our happy brain chemical, the serotonin, is also made. So it, it is crucial uh, to have a gut that's working well if you want to have good general health. Yeah. So most of the problems with gut health arise from the fact that there is a, a lot of chronic inflammation within the gut. Oh. And that's because the immune system is in an inflamed reactive state in there. So that can be due to um, mental stresses. So our brain sends a nervous signal um, down to the immune system in the gut via the enteric nervous system. Yes. Uh, and that's um, commonly expressed as irritable bowel syndrome, which is a very uh, wide-reaching illness yeah, at the moment, causing a lot, of, yep, a lot of pain, a lot of bloating, um, alternating diarrhoea and constipation in patients. Yes. Um, the other thing is that we know that the microbiome in the gut is absolutely crucial. So that's that balance between the good organisms and the bad organisms in the gut. Yes. And one of my um, favourite facts is that there's 10 times more organisms in the gut than we've got cells in our body. Wow. So it is absolutely crucial that we have the environment in the gut in a in as healthy a state as we possibly can. Yes. So the other thing about the gut is that it's like a big tube of the outside world that we swallow, you know, our food and unfortunately a lot of good and bad organisms and our immune system has to decide in the gut what's safe, you know, what's food and, and what do we let in yes. and what's potentially harmful and what do we leave in there so that we can remove that later. Okay. <laughs> um, with, with years of chronic inflammation, we find that the wall of the gut becomes damaged. So oh. the cell membranes start becoming damaged and this inflammation, like we've talked about you know, in previous videos, yes. uh, damages the cells it damages the cell membranes it causes a lot of oxidative stress and we find then that these beautiful little fingers called villi in the lining of the gut actually become quite flattened oh. and we lose a lot of surface area of our intestine and we don't actually absorb a lot of our nutrients very well oh, okay. and then the immune system in the gut doesn't work very well so we find that it can't control a lot of the bad organisms that are always in there uh, waiting to take advantage of us in a weakened state yes yes so then you find that if you can't absorb your nutrients and you're not eliminating your wastes and you're in a chronically inflamed state <laughs> that can send inflammatory signals to lots of other parts of our body as well and we certainly know that um, dermatitis and, and allergies and asthma are all very closely linked to an inflamed gut so molecular hydrogen is very exciting as an antioxidant Yes. because we know that it has uh, not only these antioxidant properties and the fact that it's a selective antioxidant, so it's only working on the, the harmful free radicals and it leaves a lot of the, the beneficial free radicals alone, but it also has um, cell membrane healing properties because of the antioxidant function Wonderful. and has anti-inflammatory properties in its own right. So if you can heal the cell membranes of the lining of the gut uh, effectively and then you can absorb your nutrients and reduce that inflammatory cascade that can get triggered by the gut, then that has um, very exciting potential health benefits. Mm, absolutely. I'm sure 
uh, you know, healthy gut is going to equal a healthy person, isn't it? Really? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You, you need your immune system to be working well in there, and you 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 want as much of the happy serotonin producing <laughs> <That's> <laughs> properties so as you can. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for that, Dr. Ellen. Thanks, Wade. We'll talk to you again soon. Lovely. Thank you.